the Midland Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge at ringside, Mr. Chris Dillman. This is eight three-minute rounds of boxing for the British Heavyweight Challenge belt. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the white head shorts trimmed with red. At the Wayne Heath scale, 14 stone, 5 pounds, 14 ounces. His excellent ring record this evening reads 10 contests, 7 wins, 2 of those wins coming by way of knockout with just 3 defeats. Presenting from Ilkston, here is Russ Relentless Henshaw. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing his familiar white colour shorts trimmed with silver and lime green. At the weight he scaled, 14 stone, 2 pounds, 12 ounces. His perfect unblemished record this evening reads 11 contests, 11 wins. Five of those wins going by way of knockouts. He hails from the river camp via his hometown of Chapel on the Frick. Here he is. The undefeated Jack Ransmann Time to the bell. Martin Fallon from Wolverhampton. Dudley's Sean Messer is in charge of the action. Eight three minute rounds. Here we go, eight rounds, one smack Jack, Massey, Russ Henshaw, Cruiserweight, British Challenge belt on the line, but this is more important than the, the, a belt like that, isn't it? This is about seeing whether Jack can come past a, a British opponent, an ambition guy with a winning record, just to get himself into the mix-up British title level. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this will be Jack's toughest test today, and it'll be interesting to see how he deals with Russ. Good fighter in his own right. Yeah, it's one thing fighting a... Eastern European who might have a few wins on his record, but the atmosphere is different, isn't it, when you fight somebody from reasonably local? Yeah, and he's a well-known guy. Good fighter as well, Russ. He'll be coming to win tonight. Yeah, he got a win last time. He, he was on a bit of a, a run, and then he got put in with Isaac Chamberlain in Leeds, and he got taken apart, really, by Isaac, who was on form that night. Lost a couple after that, but he got a win last time, so he's going to be coming with ambition. Let's see what Jack Massey's made of. Good start from Massey, this. Just landed a couple of body shots early on. And Massey's good enough, you know, like Henshaw telegraphed that uppercut then, didn't he? And Massey's good enough to read that and counter. Gonna have to come with something a little bit sharper, Russell. I think he'll realise that as the fight goes on. He can't throw lazy shots like that body shot there. It's too easy for Massey to get out of the way of that. You've got to be smarter with your work against an opponent like Jack. Letting him go, Massey's looking, obviously feeling pretty confident here. You know, he's on the brink of big things. He's signed a deal with Box Nation. Easily one of the biggest ticket sellers in the North West. Easily, you know, he sells out this Don uh, Devonshire Dome virtually single-handedly, doesn't he? Yeah, it's ridiculous how many tickets he sells, isn't it? And, and he's got the skills and the backing to, to go into big things now, like you said with Box Nation. He might not fight in Buxton for a while and, and everyone's come out to support him. It's, it's all well and good saying that. He's got to get through tonight, hasn't he? Shown some decent hand speed here, I think, Massey. You know, he's shot, thrown the left hand, as, left hook as a counter a couple of times, nice and quick. He looks very sharp, doesn't he, when, when he's in there? Bobby Rimmer in his corner, long time trainer now. I know he thinks the world of Jack, doesn't he? Yeah, and the stories when Jack first joined up with Bobby, he used to get the bus to the gym every morning and, and back, and you can't fault his dedication or his commitment. And it's starting to show that now, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely right up to the body. I 
think he rocked him a bit yeah. with that first right hand. The right hand followed up as well. He's letting his hands go. Henshaw's in bad trouble. The referee's going to step in. Over. That's a big statement from Jack it's Massey. All over. I, I, I think the referee was justified there. Henshaw's head was getting rocked backwards and forwards. That's a big win for Jack Massey. Yeah, absolutely fantastic performance. And we said he needed to make a statement. He's certainly done that tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, he was calm, he was composed, he picked his shots, he had fast hands, and when he saw the opportunity, he let them go. And just as a side note, Charlie Schofield was going to jump in at the end of the round and, and have a bit of a chat with us, but I don't think he's going to do that now. Fantastic performance from Jack Massey, though. It's put a bit of a dent in Russ Henshaw's plans. He was supposed to fight Lawrence Acoli next week. Um, he won't be doing that now. But a big, big result for Jack Massey. Yeah, he's going to get people talking about him now. People talked about Jack Massey before, but putting out a statement like that, he's going to get people talking and, and he'll be pushed onto big title fights soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 59 seconds of one, referee Sean Messer has stopped the contest. His opinion. Ross was in no position to defend himself. Therefore, your winner is the new British Challenge Heavyweight Champion, Ben Chapel on the now undefeated in 12. Professional contest. Jack Wilson-Smith-Massey! The appreciation piece for Russ Henshaw.